Hello everyone, my name is Amita and this video is about how to get international postdoc position. So in this video, I have divided it, it into five parts. The very first one would be what is postdoc and why is it important? The second would be when should one start applying for it? Third, identifying postdoc lab and advisor. Fourth one is how to build an effective application. And the very last one, the fifth one, it would be the tips and tricks for the interview process. So without any delay, let's get started. The term postdoc indicates that it occurs after the completion of a doctoral degree or PhD. It is important as it provides individuals with the opportunity to engage in advanced research beyond the scope of their PhD studies. During this period, researchers gain the experience and mentorship needed to transition into more independent roles such as faculty positions. So if your goal is to become faculty, postdoc is for you. In India, top institutes like IITs generally ask for three years of postdoc experience. Although it's not mandatory, but this experience is often seen as a positive factor as it enhances the researcher's profile by making them more competitive for future academic position. Once you're really sure that a postdoc is what you want to pursue, then sooner is better. While some places do require completing the PhD defense before applying, but in my experience, many international positions don't have this requirement at the application stage. However, uh, you typically can start a postdoc position only after successfully defending your thesis. The job market dynamics can be unpredictable and a favorable opportunity might not come again in the next six months. So my suggestion is to begin your search when you are nearing the conclusion of your PhD research. In my own experience, I initiated contact with professors for positions in September 2021, uh, knowing that I would defend my PhD thesis in the next six months. So starting six months in advance can be a strategic move. In my experience, selecting a postdoc lab and advisor, I started by firstly creating an Excel sheet that listed the top 10 labs in the field where I intend to pursue my postdoc. You can prepare for 15 or up to 20 labs. It's crucial to have a clear target because without a target, it's like shooting in the dark. So I focused on identifying these labs first by following a simple four step strategy that I've, I'm going to share it with you all. Number one, academic citations connecting the dots. So take a closer look at the researchers you have cited in your articles or the papers you have been reading during your PhD. As you connect the dots, you might discover that these researchers are currently seeking postdocs and you could be the perfect fit for them because your familiarity with their work through reading and citing their work could make you the ideal candidate. Number two, conference networking, meaningful connection. So attending the conferences allowed me to network and build connections. So for you, you can remember the researchers and professors you spoke with uh, during the conference and look into their labs and the research they are involved in. Even a brief encounter of just two minutes at a conference can turn out to be advantageous. Trust me on to this. Number three, university website, virtual lab tour. Top universities have a lot of funding across the year and hire much more postdocs compared to small universities. So check out these top universities website, go to their respective department and the faculty sections. You would definitely find 2-3 researchers and labs which are working in the field you want to pursue your postdoc. Make them your target. Number 4. Google Search Global Lab Exploration do search using keywords, for example, like postdoc positions in deep learning or postdoc positions in computational neuroscience. You might find LinkedIn suggestion or Google links where you can discover labs which are actively working in this field. 
so this step will make sure that you don't miss any single postdoc opportunity that you might have overlooked For most of the postdoc applications you will typically encounter that three documents are essentially required. Let's start with the cover letter. So whether you are applying to an official advertisement or reaching out via email, a well crafted cover letter is crucial. The cover letter serves as your opening statement, your chance to make a compelling introduction. Let me show you what an ideal cover letter looks like. This is the cover letter that I had written when I was applying for the postdoc position. In this letter, I clearly mentioned why I'm interested in the lab, what expertise or skills I have which would be beneficial for the growth of their lab, uh, and then briefly talked about my publication in the field and in what stage of PhD I'm currently in. You can use my cover letter and change as needed. With this cover letter or email message, attach up to two or three of your best publication and CV. To create CV, I personally used Latex instead of Word, which appears more formal. In the description, I'll share the link of my CV and the overleaf template that I have been using to create my CV. I have been using this template for more than five years and I really like it so much. You can also look into my CV to get an idea about what all things needs to be included in your professional CV. The post of interview typically involves three main stages. First, presenting your research to the lab. At this stage, you will share the research you did during your PhD and discuss your plans for future work in the lab. Tip here is don't stress too much about sticking to a specific topic. It's more of a conversation. So make sure to showcase not only the width, but also the depth of your work with confidence. Number two, talking with the principal investigator, PI or the postdoc advisor. In this phase, you will have a conversation with the PI about your expectation for the postdoc. He, may, he or she may also ask how long you plan to stay, your salary, considerations and more. So come prepared with your own questions to make it a two-way conversation, not just one-sided. So the tip is ask insightful questions to show your genuine interest in the postdoc. Number three. One-on-one -on -one conversation with lab members. This step assesses your ability to work well in a team. Having one-on-one -on -one discussion with lab members demonstrates your teamwork skills and your easiness in sharing your research ideas with your fellow lab members. The tip is prepare by familiarizing yourself with their work beforehand to express interest for collaboration on common projects. It's time for bonus tips. Ensure to keep these two essential tips in mind. The very first is schedule the postdoc inquiry email to be sent around 10 or 10.30 am local time of the targeted location. And the second is use your official email address. Example, in my case, I use the IIT Delhi email ID when sending an email. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you do like this video and find this helpful for your postdoc application process, please give a thumbs up and I wish you all the very best for your postdoc search. Thank you.